<sighs> Damn, Q. Maybe you did that. All right, so we uh, we back in the building after several drinks and several reviews. Uh, always excited about Uncle Nears, man. So we once again are broadcasting live uh, downtown at Eastern Market at Burt's uh, for the Whiskey 101 event put on by Dope Mixology hell, in the D, man. So right now, representing Mixology in the D today, we got we got Roy and we got Kristen in the building. What up, though? What up, though? What up? What's going on with you, dog? First of all, I just want to say this is a this is a dope event. I wasn't hip to the other ones. I'm glad that whiskey was my first one because I know yeah. I seen y'all had like a one for a vodka. I think yeah, it was. We, we do all spirits. We did tequila, gotcha. vodka, uh -huh. uh, gin, gin, gin too, whiskey, bourbon, okay. cognac. We do hey, all look. of them. I won't. Yeah, we won't <laughs> well, well. I might skip that one. <laughs> he got to skip it. <laughs> right. But I'm glad we fell through for the whiskey one for sure. Yes. Uh, and I'm glad you guys were using Uncle uh, Uncle Nears because that's one of my favorites, of course. But uh, just tell us a little bit about what you guys do at uh, Mixology in the D. Okay, so Mixology in the D is an immersive bartending experience. Mm -hmm. So we hold a monthly like mixology experiences downtown once a month. We rotate spirits. We like to use local minority-owned spirits always. And um, it's a vibe. It's like a mixer. I don't want to say it's like a class. But it's more like a mixer, meet and greet. We like For to sure. celebrate cocktails with friends and have a great right. time. You know, guests learn how to make two drinks. Uh, we right. make, like, we make our drinks in house, so they're never getting the same drink every time. So gotcha. For sure. It's a great experience. We love, um, ex like, exposing them to different spirits they might not have tried before, yep. and just having a good time. You know, drinking. A yeah, lot of people sure. meet new people. Um, cocktails bring people together, right? No, nah, and that was that was the thing too. Uh, my partner, the first thing he said was like he thought it was dope that at the end you make a drink for somebody else, so that allows you to kind of mix and mingle. So yes. I thought that was pretty mix dope. Mix and mingle is like the top thing that yeah. I wanted to have in this experience. Besides, obviously learning about new spirits and making cocktails, but you know it's so many different people. We want you to network, have a good time, and celebrate cocktails with friends. No, for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, where did this idea come from? with um, a different mixology experience and doing PR for them like before COVID and okay. I created the mixology one-on-one -on -one experience for her gotcha. to get more exposure about her business because she had a bartending school Okay. and so she kind of shut down and COVID happened and then Roy was like I came to your experience and I loved it and we should bring it back and people yeah. were like asking me about it so right. we teamed up and we brought it back and we've been open okay. for like two years now so um, our version of Mixology in the D, like the different spirits, is more of a mixer, whereas gotcha. the one in the past was more like a learning experience. Got gotcha. so actual learning. Yeah, yeah I got gotcha. so, so which one is your most popular? Um, the vodka. <laughs> really? Uh, People I love vodka. I guess. Yeah, I guess. Cognac, we gonna make the whiskey one the most one. Um, we had cognac a month ago. That one went really crazy. I bet it did. Yeah. <laughs> it was, hey, was that racist for me to say that? I bet it okay. did. Yeah. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Well, I'm, so, I'm glad we're here for the whiskey. Go ahead. Yeah. Where we use, like Chris said, we use local mm -hmm. spirits, black owned, black owned spirits as well. Mm -hmm. uh, so we've used Eight Mile Vodka, and it's just been a hit. Right. Okay. For sure. Yeah. And that, and that was the that was the thing too. I was curious, like how did how did you come to the choice of using Uncle Nears for the whiskey event? So um, we just always like to do black spirits or mm -hmm. like local owned or minority owned spirits. Like versus like the you know the name brand or like you know things like that. So people are exposed to something different. So we used um, we've had a whiskey class before and we used Uncle Nares and we loved it. So we wanted to do it again. So okay. Uncle Nares is like the one we use for whiskey now. For sure. So I got something for you. Kind of a follow up to, to uh, Angry Principles question, right? So you know doing doing vodka, doing gin, doing you know, whiskey, tequila, whatever. Like had you kind of witnessed? Or what are your your, your thoughts on like uh, more black folks kind of getting to other types of spirits rather than just like cognac oh, or whatever, right? <laughs> right. Like, what is what does that evolution look like to you? For for me, that evolution is is great. Uh, when I when I see a lot of our people 
people of color venturing off, creating their, having their own spirit. Um, I, I just think it's great for, for us in general, our community. Right. We're so we're so accustomed to drinking everyone else's and, and, and yeah. publicizing, uh, not publicizing, promoting everyone else's alcohol. Why not promote our own alcohol? So for so for you, it's more of the. It's, it's more of the, the creator side. Like, cause y'all know you talking about like, as far as what people drink, you talking about just people kind of transcending from being consumers to manufacturers themselves. That's kind of what you talking about. Okay, yeah. I got you. I mean, no, 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 no perspective. Man. No, for sure. Yeah. Hell yeah, cause I wasn't even thinking that, yeah. I was gonna say like, um, even for cognac, like we drink Duce and Hennessy all the time, right? Right, right, that, right. We were just right. talking about that. Yeah. Which is owned by Dennis McKinley. Mm -hmm. um, into something that's black owned and different. Right. And I For feel sure. like Nyack is like comparable to Hennessy in my opinion and it's a little bit cheaper so. You know. We agree. Yeah, right? <laughs> we agree. Man, I, I can't believe I answered your question. I'm big on people not answering questions, man. No. I just totally well, missed out on it. You asked them from, from a different perspective. Right. Yeah, right. Yeah, sure. I didn't even think about that. I yeah. wasn't thinking about that either but yeah. it was a dope ass answer. Yeah. For real. But that is the thing though, like people really getting more involved in the process of making their own liquor. I think that is kind of dope. And, and when you think about Uncle Nearest, like I wasn't familiar with Uncle Nearest in the past. Okay. So when you think about what, what uh, Ms. Weaver, Vaughn Weaver has done yes. with Uncle Nearest and how it originated, I didn't know the history of that. Right. Right. When, when I started listening and diving into it, I, I said, wow. Exactly. That's great. It is. But I I'm going to say it again. If you're ever in Nashville, that is the best tasting room you can go to. Yeah. I can't okay. stress it enough. It holds up to any of the other big boys as far as a tasting room and a, a gift shop and a tour. It's probably the best out there that I've experienced. Yeah. So just put that out there for Uncle They do a good job. He, he, he said, said that on the occasion. I got to say this too, right? Hey, and we are not like sponsored by Uncle or anything right. like that. Nope. That's right. just how much we mess with it, right? But Paul Weaver, I mean, black on obviously, right? But she is a business person for real. Like, I've I kind of dug into like some of her, like there's case studies about her now, right? Right. You know, and like, she don't play no game. No. You know it's what a mean? billion she dollar company now. She's a business now. person yes. for real. Yeah, you then know? you see her in everything. Right. She's out TV, everything she's out promoting in herself, so sure. you can tell how vested she is yeah. into her own brand. Right. Yeah. Man. And I feel like when you do the history, like she's done about the background of Uncle Nearest, like you're passionate about it, so that's all you can do is go hard. You right, know? right, sure. And so, like, doing events like this, do y'all do y'all see yourselves going into a spirits situation or? Le Leroy look like he got something to say about it. I'm, I'm just curious. I don't know. Top secret. In the future, Top I secret, want us right. to have our own space where we have, okay. this, you know, the local owned spirits and that type of thing. But, but if you go have the space, you might as well have your own spirit. I'm just I saying. Mean, I don't know. You go ahead. No, I feel like you got to be a chemist. You yeah. Know. It's a lot. I feel like mixology, like um, being able well, to... Well, what about a line of mixed drinks? Yeah, I want to do a oh. line of like syrups and like mixed drinks and things like that. There you go. For yeah. sure. Yeah. Maybe not the spirit, because that's like okay. really detailed. <laughs> you know what? That's such a great idea, too. Because just going back a little bit earlier today, mm -hmm. homeboy over here, I'm not going to say his name, off camera, homeboy okay. off camera. Okay, homeboy, okay. He, he goes, he, he, sees, he sees one of you walking by, he goes, what's that right there? And I go, oh, that, that's the bitters, right? It's because we, 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 we know, know what, what it bitters is. looks like, right? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because there's really no other options, you know, that that, that are, you know, mainstream like that. Mm -hmm. So having something black on, you know, like, you know, syrups and the bitters, that would be dope as hell. Yeah. Yeah. I was definitely, because we you know, already make support, our syrups, like, so. in-house already. Oh, really? Yeah, okay. all, like, okay. our spice syrup today, like, I made that, like, oh, so, okay. you know, earlier today. Yeah. Sugar water, cinnamon, nutmeg, clover, okay. you oh, So know. you already on the way. You, I got you. Yeah, on the way, basically. <laughs> So, that's what's up. Yeah. yeah. No, that's dope as hell. Now, when did it, when did it start, though? When was the first one? Um, so, the first one was last year. I want to say April, uh, no, no. August or September. September. Okay. And what, what did y'all start with? We started with vodka because with vodka. we put it online, and literally, 8 Mile Vodka reached out to us. They're a local brand, and right. they were like, we want to sponsor your event. And we were yeah. like, great. They made, they made <laughs> the decision started, easy, right? Um, we started downtown at Speaker Box. That was okay. like our first class. We had a couple classes there, and then we moved here. 
because uh-huh. it was a more space and we were basically outgrowing ourselves within like right. two classes. Yeah. And so, yeah. Okay. And, and so, even though we start out off at the speaker box, one of the things that we want to do is not just highlight the, the different spirits, but we want that opportunity to go into other venues. Right. Like for the NFL draft, we had a, we had an opportunity to go into District 5 and we, right. we were part of the, the, the the NFL draft, and yeah. I want to say we did. We had tequila. Yeah. That's right. And that was someone. I know y'all did well down there with tequila, man. That, <laughs> I already know. Just <laughs> stop playing. Man, that was right. a great, man, that was a nice event. We had former NFL players yeah. uh, come in, and man, that that was a vibe. Yeah, we partnered with the, N- the NFL Players Association Detroit chapter for right. that one. And that's what I was gonna say. I know, I know that you guys are mixology in the D, but like, are there plans to go? Across, uh, across the line somewhere? Yes. So okay. I do want to do take Mixology in the D and go to different cities. Yeah. We're working to that, you know, gotcha. partnering in different cities and kind of moving around, making yeah. the thing. Yeah. For sure. Hold on. Dennis McKinney, you said you was going to get us to Atlanta. Oh, you shit. Us to Atlanta. Uh-oh. Call, Uh-oh. Call him out. Call him out. Nyack, man. Hey, I'm putting you out there, Dennis. <laughs> Damn. Hey, that was Call him out. My man, Shot. D-Mac better respond. Shot Shot line, line, baby. <laughs> D-Mac better respond. <laughs> Y'all, you better fucking respond, for real. That, that, how did you guys end up in this space? I, I, I think I seen one of the other ones was here, too, right? So, how, how we got in this space is we met, I met, um, I can't think of his name. And, and we're still cool to this day. But he introduced me to Lazar. Uh-huh. And, and he was like, this is something he was looking to do. Sure. So, when we came in, we spoke with Lazar about it. Um, mm-hmm. We connected. Yeah. And, and that's what we're here now, for sure. I can't believe I can't. I can't think. And I know he mentioned he did mention Lazar. So shout out to Lazar. Shout out to uh, uh, Taste of Black Spirits and uh, and hey. Deshaun. Uh, Deshaun. Deshaun. Deshaun, my man. man. Oh, Deshaun, the one link. I should have fucking known. The song, fucking my known. bad, man. That's who we yeah. met first, Deshaun. For sure. So, shout out to him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. dog with the beard. That's what yeah. I yeah. For sure. Yeah. I should have known. Yeah. <laughs> Now that's what's up. We had a couple classes with them here, and then we just were able to have our event here. For sure. Yeah. Now, when is, when is the next one? The next one is going to be December 21st. We're okay. having a holiday party. It's going to be okay. tequila. It's yeah. going to be lit. So. Now, this is just a it's just a holiday party. It's not like a... No, it's a holiday cocktail event. I'm okay. sorry. It's just holiday theme. Okay, got it. Because of gotcha. December, you know. What, what's the cocktails going to be, or do you, you guys know yet? So, we're going to get in the lab and get some great holiday cocktails. Yeah, together. for sure. <laughs> So, so tonight, tonight was good. Uh, we did, we did choose the uh, whiskey sour over the uh, old the fashioned. Okay. Uh, for you guys though, what, what was your, what was your favorite one tonight? I mean, I just like anything that tastes good. <laughs> <laughs> good answer. But no, real talk. Uh, what is this I'm drinking now? I mean, the old fashioned. Old fashioned. Okay. I, okay. I like the old fashioned. I like the whiskey sour too. Yeah, I did. I did like the sour, and quite honestly, I've never had a whiskey sour like from the bar. Like, uh, Angry Principal makes whiskey sours at home, but I don't know what's in that shit. Because <laughs> like, that shit just be like all liquor, and, like a little sour. But, uh, so yeah, I think for me, the, the whiskey sour was definitely uh, the winner tonight. But again, too, also I want to uh, ask you about the Uncle Nearest. I know you guys are kind of sticking to the, the black owned kind of realm. Were there any other whiskeys, like some black owned whiskeys that you might have been? interested in other than uh uncle nears what did we use before wasn't it uh for mosaic probably no we no no we, we haven't used, used that yet we were trying to use them yeah we for mosaic trying, just, but yeah. we couldn't we couldn't work that out with was them it, okay what was that one it uh, was um because it's like a flavored a burnt orange uh, yeah uh, the Tom one we were just talking about Tom 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 that's yeah. the, the yeah. gin i was we talking about yeah yeah Okay. That's uh, Alan Houston. Yeah. Yeah. Alan yeah. Henderson. Alan Henderson. Alan Henderson. My bad. Yeah. For sure. So also too, I, I would say, I would say probably yeah, the Fort Mose is probably one you definitely. Oh my bad. One you definitely want to take a look at too though. Yes. Um, and, thoughts. And, and, and thoughts. Thoughts is a good one. Thoughts, 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 thoughts is a good one. Thoughts. Thoughts. It's out of New York. So okay. yeah. Okay. 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 Like, I, at the, uh, I think it's up on the bar. He sells okay. syrup as well. Okay. Yeah. 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 We want to use any black spirits, any local spirits that we can, because yeah. it's, it's not just about us having this event. It's yeah. about us being able to help promote the the spirits that we don't know about. Not for sure. Uh, 
when when people talk about, I didn't know about Nyack to be honest. Right. Nyack, I didn't yeah, know right. about uh, what's our tequila that we that we. Uh, Antil tequila. Antil tequila. Antil tequila. We love Antil too. I didn't know yeah. anything about Black Spears to be honest with you. Yeah. I didn't until yeah. I went into Myers, met Deshaun, and I was like, hold up, what? Yeah. So, I'm telling you, really open your eyes up to some stuff. So yeah. I'm loving what y'all doing here though. Like it, it's not just an event where people can like learn how to mix stuff because you actually can, mm -hmm. but also too it's just a, a real chance to like mingle for real. Yes. I think that's the dopest aspect of it though. Mm -hmm. Real networking event for real. Yeah. No, it right. really is. I right. mean, and that's what I love. Like I like to network. Like I like yeah. to have a good time. You know what I'm saying? Meet new people. So I mean, that's the that's whole the reason that we here I'm is because I'm we had a little networking situation. Throw a little something out there, right? You know. I'm in a lot of uh, professional groups like on LinkedIn, Detroit area and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people are looking for like those kind of, you know, you know, networking events that yeah. are laid back and casual like right. this, right? I mean, it might be a lot of opportunity there for you. Yeah, corporate guys connection, well, right? right? Yeah. yeah, for so, sure. I like that idea. I see it all the time, all over LinkedIn. And we're going like, to hey, talk about that all the time. Like, <laughs> just something like this, we got to or whatever, you know? Yeah, yeah we're going to talk about that all the time. <laughs> but on, aside from another event like this, like what, what's next for you guys? Um, so next we want to do a lot of um, private parties, um, right. just like collaborations with different brands. We're open okay. to that as well. In the future, we do want to get our own space. Right. So right now we're rocking with our um, events once a month, but mm -hmm. we want to do a lot of collaborations, more bigger, you know, events like we did with the NFL draft. That was right. really fun. So, sure. you know, we're open to collaborating and doing um, different events with mixology and just networking in general. Oh, yeah. Oh, the, oh, the law. Yeah, the law. The law. Yeah. yeah. I feel like you the, the, the mobile cigar. Right mobile cigar. Uh -huh. Remember that? Oh, they, they were out of date. Oh no no no! The old the old owner. But they traveled though. Oh okay, old girl. But I don't. I don't remember that. Monique. 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 Okay. Yeah, yeah, she yeah. has the most. I'm sorry. sorry we, got, we, we, we got sidetracked. Jumped up in the hole. It's these goddamn squishy sours. We forgot we had company. Like no, no. No, but like Chris said, you know, we want to do private events. But some of the other events, Jack Daniels have something. Uh, they had something last year. It was just a, a Jack Daniels event. Yeah. When they sold tickets and all they had was Jack Daniels, certain different cocktails. Gotcha. I would love to be able, we would love to be able to do that. Uh, yeah. Connect with some of the top yeah. promoters here in the city, the T Woods. For sure. Someone like T Woods. Sure, put your bid in. Yeah. <laughs> do, do it down here. And then what that does, that just brings more exposure to our black spirits. No, for sure. I agree. I agree. Mm -hmm. No, that's what's up, dog. And well, thank y'all for stopping through. Thank y'all for spotlighting us, allowing us to be a part of this event. Yeah. Absolutely. Like I said, thank when you, you reached out to me, I was like, uh, can we do a podcast maybe? He was like, I'm like hell yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> So yeah, we I, I'm glad we were here. Evening. I'll let you know when that is. If For sure. Come. No doubt. And I'm glad you chose Uncle Nearest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One of my favorites, man. Hey, but before we leave, though, no, thank you guys for coming out uh, because this, this was huge. Yeah. This is huge, being able to collaborate with, with all of you. Man, this is something I never thought of. I don't know if Chris ever thought about doing it. Yeah. But uh, sisters with opinions, if it wasn't for them, yeah. we'd have never met you guys. Exactly. So that's how I met them on another podcast. And they had the eight mile vodka. Then we started talking about black owned spirits. And I was like, yeah, we do a we do a bourbon show. And then after that, this came up. She was like, you know what, y'all should come. I'm like, you know what, we should. <laughs> <laughs> it just kind of worked out like that. And then like we knew the rep from uh from Uncle Nair, so I put y'all together. So you got a little swag uh out here today. So appreciative for that. Like when I, I tell people like these relationships are, are like real, like they might not be for you, it might be for somebody else. Like the old, old girl at uh, Uncle Nears, like it was cool that I think at some point we gonna get the interviewer, but like outside of that, like it wasn't nothing else I could do. So like putting y'all together was like it was fucking perfect. Yes. So like I'm just saying. And I feel like when you do, when you do right, everything aligns. You know what I'm saying? It's true. Connecting, networking, everything aligns in perfect timing. So it does. I agree. So again, thank y'all for having us out. I thought y'all was giving us that bottle. <laughs> but but it's cool. Drink? Hell yeah! Okay. <laughs> we gonna get y'all another drink. We gonna, I ain't right, turning down shit with my collar. We'll get y'all another drink though. For sure. I got you. Okay. <laughs> hey, we appreciate it. Mr. Burke. Oh, Mr. Burke. We should have shot. We didn't say anything to Mr. Burke. Yes, yes please Mr. do that. Do that. Mr. Burke, man, he was 
he came in with the Mr. Bird has been, been backing us yes. since day one. For sure. He's been backing us, man. Even when, when things got a little rocky, he came in, we spoke with him, and he said, you know what? I like what you guys are doing. Yeah. I want you to continue to come in. Um, so, Mr. Burt, Mr. Yeah. Burt, Mr. Miller, his whole staff, man. Thank you, guys. Right, shout out to Burt. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. On that note, we're going uh, to let her go make us another drink. <laughs> let me go make y'all another drink. And then we about to wrap it up here. Respect.